And one of the things that you've got to do is you've got to watch your inner conversation and discipline your thinking and your imagination because if you don't, your mind will take you on a wild trip talking to you, telling you what you can't do. Part of what you've got to do is be your own motivator. You've got to talk to yourself and you build yourself up and you'll feel your energy level coming up and people will feel that around you. See, now, if you go through life being afraid, people can sense that. They can pick up that fear. Not trying to disturb anything, not trying to shake anything up, not trying to make any waves. There are some people who, who come through the universe and their level of contribution and the level of energy they manifest is so small, so inconspicuous that when they go, you won't even know they left. There are some people because of their personality, because of their contribution, because of their, the investment of their time and their energy and the impact they have there, that when they go, everybody will miss them. So when Mother Teresa checks out, everybody will know. When Rosa Parks, everybody will know. Nelson Mandela, everybody will know. Why? Because of their contribution. See, but there's some people because their contribution is so small, no one will care. So I'm saying, before you are boxed and buried, decide that you're going to box and bury your fears. Decide that you're going to begin to live life on a new level, seeking out new horizons. Guy said something, I love this. He says, everything a man does for himself, guess what? He takes with him. But everything he does for others, he leaves behind. So when you begin to say, what is it that I want to leave? What contribution that I want to begin to make? What difference do I want to make in life? What is it that I want to do with the rest of the life that I have left? What, what chances I need to take? What risks do I need to begin to embrace? What fears do I need to step on? What areas of my life am I dead right now? What dream? You can either live your dreams or live your fears. You have got to get to a point where you say, I'm sick and tired of living like this. There's got to be more. That's, see, that's when people go out and, and strike out on their dreams. That's when people get out of relationships where they're dying together rather than growing together. Deciding as you look at your life, as you look into the future and say, what fears am I holding on to? What fears that I'm allowing to imprison me? The impulse to dream has been slowly beaten out of me through the experience of life. And most people, ladies and gentlemen, have stopped living their dreams because of the lessons they've learned from life or things they've picked up because we've only been born with two fears. The fear of a loud sound or the fear of falling and all the other fears of fears we learn, fears we pick up. Whatever you're scared of, no light, the value you brought to the planet, far more important, whatever you're afraid of, you're stronger. So as we begin to look toward the future 
and look at what will it take for us to break through those fears. One, acknowledging the fear, knowing it's all right, some fear is healthy. Beginning to know that your dreams, your passions, your drive to achieve whatever it is you want, as it has more power and meaning, it will move you past your fears. As you begin to feel that you deserve it, your passion and goal is so strong that fears won't matter. If you believe in yourself, if you constantly remind yourself after every defeat, after every setback, every time you get knocked down, I've got a saying, if life knocks you down, try and land on your back because if you can look up, you can get up. See, a lot of people, because of failure, they stop, they stop believing. Let me share something with you. You will fail your way to success. Yes, eight out of 10 millionaires have been financially bankrupt. You will fail your way to success. It doesn't matter how many times you fail. It doesn't matter how many times people tell you that you can't do it. It doesn't matter if you don't have a dime in the bank. You will fail your way to success. The greatest thing is love. When we feel like we don't have enough love and we don't have enough hope, we start losing strength to live. For me in my life as a child, I had a big wall. I was surrounded by four walls and a low ceiling of opportunity. I was set free in so many different ways and especially surviving from day to day with my parents who loved me, who encouraged me, who told me that I was beautiful the way that I was and not to worry about what other people said about me. And the world is a hurting place and the world needs hope and the world needs love. Without hope, we feel like, why are we here? Today, I still have no arms and legs, but everything's changed. Everything. For me, I was looking for hope and happiness and I couldn't see it for many years. In fact, if this side of the table represents my hope, truth encourages me to become all that I can be. But then we have lies every day coming in our mind, people who discourage us. You know the people that you have in your life who, no matter how good of a day you're having, they'll bring you down. Or no matter how bad of a day you're having, they'll bring you even lower. My, my brother, he constantly reminded me that I, I couldn't do what I'm doing now. And, but that really wasn't the bad part. The real bad part was I convinced myself that I couldn't do it. Not only because of those things that he pointed out, being practical and realistic, but also that within myself, I didn't believe what Mike Williams, my mentor, said was possible for me. Have you ever had somebody who believed and saw something for you that you didn't see for yourself? And here's how I escaped that. I discovered that sometimes you have to believe in somebody's belief in you until your belief kicks in. Nick, you're not good enough. Nick, just give up. Nick, you're never going to get a job. You won't get married. You can't even hold your wife's hand. What kind of a father are you going to be if you can't even pick up your kids when they're crying? You're alone. Sure, your parents hug you, but their hugs can't heal you. Just give up. 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 At age eight, I thought that I should commit suicide. Why? I didn't have hope. I thought I didn't have hope. Today, you can see that I had hope. 
What's the word? Believing in something you do not see. Faith. When you lose your job, when you lose your retirement, when you go to the doctor and they look at you and say, you have cancer. Cancer is the most feared word in seven different languages. That's when it's tough to have faith then. And that's when you need to call on your faith then. They said faith is the oil that, that takes the friction out of living. That's when you need to believe in yourself then and judge not according to appearances and say to yourself, it's possible. It's possible. I can make it. It's possible. I'm going to get through this. It's possible. I'm not going to allow this to get the best of me. Yeah. I don't know what you're up against. I don't know what you're facing, but here's what I do know. You've got something special. You've got greatness in you. And I know it's possible that you can live your dream. If you could become world-class at any skill in the next six months, particularly if it's something that you dreamed of and dreamed of and put up on a shelf and gave up on. What would amazing look like for you? What would amazing look like if you were amazing? If you know what amazing looks like, then why haven't you gotten here yet? I want you to say, the reason I'm not as amazing yet because I hit the snooze button. That's why I'm not amazing right now. The reason why I'm not amazing right now is because I couldn't get up early enough because I told myself I'm not an early person. I don't get on Twitter every blue moon. I don't get on my app every blue moon. The reason why some of you will never be successful because you're not immersed in it. When you wake up in the morning, look at your goals. Your goals gonna tell you what time to get up. Are you hearing me? Your goals gonna tell you who you should be hanging out with. I can't tell you, but your goals gonna tell you how much sleep do you need. You might not need to get up at three o'clock in the morning for your goals, but your goals are going to define what time you get up, how you live your life, how you move, when you say yes, when you say no. Think like the person you intend to become. I want your dream to be so clear, so vivid. Right? That when you wake up in the morning, all you got to do is step in your dream. The difference between people who talk about it and people who do it is one simple word, application. They hear it, and they don't just hear it, they digest it. And when they digest it, boom, they do something with it. If you are alive, I know you ain't reached your best yet, right? You got more. You could do more. You could see more. You could be more. I know that all your energy, all your strength, all your skills, all your capabilities, like, you're not operating on a thousand percent. I know there's still some things you can do, some limits that you can push, some buttons you can push, some opportunities that you haven't explored. And the second thing I know is this. I know that you are not experiencing life to its fullest. Like life itself, is a process of becoming, a part of man's ongoing historical drive to manifest his consciousness outside of his mind, in front of his eyes. Greatness is when we overcome our own boundaries, when we surprise ourselves. When mapped out, when we get the long view, when we get the big picture. That's greatness. Ask not what the world needs, ask instead what makes you come alive, because what the world needs is more people who have come alive. What makes you come alive? What gives you the goosebumps? What gives you the chills? What makes you well up? Somewhere deep inside, you know what kind of person you were designed to be. Ask yourself, how would the person I'd like to be do the things I'm about to do? Greatness is upon you, and it's time for you to bring that thing out. There's power in consistency. There's power in doing something over and over and over and over again. There's power in practice. Don't rush the process. Yeah, feel me. Some of y'all are trying to rush the 21 days. It takes 21 years to be 21 years old. Don't rush the process. Trust the process. It's a matter of life and death. Yes, it's a job you don't want. But that job is going to propel you and position you for the next job. It's not just the class. It's the rest of your life. Are you hearing me? It's not just working out. It's an extra year on your life. It's not just eating right. It's another seven years on your life. It's a matter of life and death. And so your life 
is in your hand. Your dream is in your hand. Your future is in your hand. So, 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 what would amazing look like? The major key to your reaching your dream, your living up to your greatness, your making your contribution, is you. Listen to me, there's a direct correlation between time and success. So one of the blueprints to success, guys, is you gotta have a sense of urgency. I told you that you're phenomenal, powerful beyond measure. Let's look at where we want to go. What is it that we want to produce? What is it that we want to create for our young people? And as we think about that, start experimenting with different methods and techniques to create and to produce that. And begin to believe that it's possible through our commitment, through our vision, through our determination, our relentlessness. You have access to you, and I, I just need you to get started, right? Once you can get that momentum going, once that momentum gets going, boom, there's no telling where you can go. And for some of you, you stop dreaming. You dream for a week and you stop because things around you don't look good. First level was all about you, all about you. Understand there's nothing you can't do. There's nothing you can't have. There's nothing you can't be, but that's over now. Now we got to build on that. You hear what I'm telling you? You dream for a month, then when you get hit in the mouth, you quit and you give up. You are phenomenal. Yup, you are phenomenal beyond measure. Yup, you do matter. That's just the start. That's just, that's phase one. That's not where we're ending. That's just step one. Now we got to keep climbing. We got to keep moving. We got to keep going. You dream for a while, and when people tell you crazy, and when people tell you stupid, and when people tell you can never get done, you stop dreaming and you go back to knowledge. I dare you to use your imagination. I dare you when you broke to use your imagination. I dare you when you rich to use your imagination. I dare you under every single circumstance. Keep dreaming. Keep looking at your dream. Keep focusing on your dream. Keep going after the dream because that's where true success is. You're not where you are because you don't have an opportunity. The reason why I've been telling you don't be average, don't be good, try to be great and be phenomenal. The reason why I told you that is because, listen to me, you, 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 you got to understand. You have to understand if you stay average and you stay good, you'll never get to where you're trying to get to. And we've all had experiences where we were working on something and we knew it was possible. 
And we did those things that were necessary to bring it into reality. We took the responsibility to make it happen. Other people couldn't see it. A lot of people didn't believe it. You were attacked, you were criticized. It has nothing to do with opportunities. You've been given opportunities. The problem is you're not operating in your greatness in that opportunity. So that's why you stuck on that particular level. People were opposing you, but you kept on doing it. It was hard, it was rough, it was difficult, but to you, it was worth it. And eventually you got to a level you know, can nothing stop me now. I will not give up, I will not surrender, I will not quit. This is your year, are you hearing me? That when you're working, you have a wall to break through. Let's say a friend of mine who walks, he runs a marathon. He says, when he's running the 26 mile marathon, he said, let's say that hypothetically, that 18th mile is the wall. He said, Les, when you get there and you're running, he says, everything in you is telling you to stop, to give up. Every muscle is aching. And you're saying to yourself, I can't do it. I can't do it. And you just keep on and you keep on and you keep on. It seems like you're moving at slow motion. And then eventually when you break through that 18 mile wall, then you know it's like done and you're on automatic and you glide on in and you know it's there. You know you're gonna get to the finish line. let a fear of failure or a fear of comparison or a fear of judgment stop you from doing what's going to make you great. Look, as best we know it, we have one life. In it, you have to trust your own voice, your own ideas, your honesty, your vulnerability, and through this you will find your way. You do not have to be fearless. Just don't let fear stop you. Live like this as best you can and I guarantee you will look back on a life well lived. Stay hungry. Stay young at heart. Take those risks. You are going to change the world around you in big ways and in small. You cannot succeed without this risk of failure. You cannot have a voice without the risk of criticism. And you cannot love without the risk of loss. You must go out and you must take these risks. And people will tell you to do what makes you happy, but a lot of this has been hard work. And I don't think you should do just what makes you happy. I think you should do what makes you great. Do what's uncomfortable and scary and hard, but pays off in the long run. Be willing to fail. Let yourself fail. Fail in the way, in the place where you would want to fail. Fail, pick yourself up and fail again. Because without this struggle, what is your success anyway? I need you to reflect. Are you hearing me? I need you to think about. I need you to go back to the first one. When you're phenomenal, you're not forgotten. Great is about growth. It's your dream. If you want it to happen, get your butt up and make it happen. If you want it to happen, rise and grind. Listen to me. I have a life that only goes in one direction, forward.
You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in your abilities. You've got to believe in your service, your company, your ideas. Unquestionably, you must have faith. It's hard. Yes, it's hard. It's difficult. Yes, right. And it's worth it.